case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that questioned both the morality of slavery and the complexity of state laws, Heinz v. Brazil emerged as a significant 1838 legal battle in the High Court of Errors and Appeals of Mississippi. Under examination was the deed of emancipation executed in the state of Ohio for a slave John Monroe Brazeal by his owner Elisha Brazeal. In a decision that waved a red flag of evasion against state laws, Elisha Brazeal had transported John and his mother to Ohio, a state where he could grant them freedom. This decision, supported by Elisha's written will, was contested by the appellees. They argued that no matter the conditions abroad, John Monroe was still a slave under the laws of their home state. Unraveling this interconnected web of legal quandaries, the court focused on three key areas, the deed of emancipation, the state's stand on the rights of free black people, and the formalities of emancipation. Chief Justice Sharkey, in his written majority opinion, stated that while Alicia Brazel may have undoubtedly freed the slaves with the intent to grant them a better life, the law's eyes may see it differently. The fundamental issue lies in whether a controversial contract, made outside of the state, aiming to circumvent local laws, held validity under the existing status quo. In the end, the court ruled in accordance with the existing laws, upholding the Chancellor's decree and remanding the case for further proceedings. It was decided that John Monroe, still considered a slave and thus ineligible for property rights, could not inherit the disputed property. The property hence landed back to the heirs, putting a spotlight on the completeness of equity and thorough estate settlement. This case underscored the legal intricacies around slavery, state laws, and property rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.